Some of you asked how my coop was going. I'm still tearing it down and we're getting all this out from underneath the barn overhang here and we're going to pull all of our equipment under here. But I've got it down to almost the frame. I've got a lot of that um, hard mesh off, which I could use someplace else. And as I was working, I never miss an opportunity to have a fire. So I'm just about done letting this burn out and then we're going to go in. I'm going to show you how to take a template and edit it in Canva so that you can use it for your Instagram posts. And then I'll show you how to actually post them from Canva as well. All right, let's head over to Canva. And what we're going to do is go to www.canva.com. If you do not have an account, go ahead and hit the link below. It's free. It's a free trial for a pro account. And I'm going to show you inside this account what the difference is. And you can decide. You can get a free account or you can continue with the pro account. What we're going to do when we hit the landing page is click create a design. And since we're doing Instagram posts, I'm going to type in Instagram. And then it's going to give me some choices. And I'm going to do the square. When you get there, you're going to have a square and you can put whatever you want in it. So what we're going to do is make a post. Now, if you go under elements, there's tons of different options and pictures and things that you can use. When I went into free background pictures, because we're going to make a simple post with quotes, most of these are in the pro account. Can you see it has that little um, icon right here? It says pro with a little crown. Uh, so I plan B, since there's not a lot of free ones, you can find free things like if you're looking for other stuff. Let me just show you real quick if you want to do arrows or boxes and things like that. A lot of this is free, but for some reason, the backgrounds, there's not a lot of free ones. So we're going to go ahead, or actually, if you go to all, um, we're going to go ahead and upload our own pictures. So I want you to go to uploads. And I already got these free from a place called Pexels.com. I'm going to show you that uh, account right now. Um, Pexels gives you free pictures and you can download them. And I wanted to do one with a sailboat, so I took it for free. You can buy them and there, some of them are licensed or you can get the free ones. But I get a lot of videos for B-roll and a lot of pictures from this site. There are other sites. So I went ahead and got three pictures. I'm going to do three quotes. Now, where do I get my quotes from? Just Google it. Just go into Google and say inspiring quotes or business quotes, health quotes, whatever you want. I'm just doing um, something simple. So let's start out with this one with the sailboat. And what we're going to do is make it fit. Now, obviously, the picture's got to go into the square from a, a rectangle. If I want the boat to be over to the side, I can just slide it over like this. And then I'm going to put my quote on here. Now, I'm going to go to text. Now that you have the picture lined up the way you want it, you want to go over here to text. Now, for the sake of this little... It, demonstration i'm going to stick with these three text boxes here in the kit these are three that canva just offers you can change your font and i'll show you that in just a moment but i'm going to just select one of these type in my quote and then i'll show you how you can change the font if you want to now i did get my quotes online i just went under and googled quotes and that's a way you can get it if you type in quotes here it's going to give you real quick quotes like hey you did it and stuff like that so i wanted something a little bit deeper now you can see here where i typed the quote in there's a little box um, once you click that you can go up here and make your your size of your font larger or smaller you can add effects if you want you can go over here and echo it or make it neon um, it doesn't show up really well um here's neon there because I just have black. Sometimes if it's colored, it shows up better. But anyway, you do have all these effects that you can go in and use if you want to play around with that. Here's where you can change your font. I just have Roboto pop up, but if you hit the drop down menu, you've got all these different fonts that you can use and try to type something in. I do believe on the pro account, you can bring your own font in. If you have a special font that goes with your branding um, that you'd like to use all the time, I'm sh pretty sure you can bring it in. I haven't done it because I didn't, the one I use is already here. All right, let's go to the next one. And what we're going to do is go to the uploads again. And this time we're going to upload the picture of a man standing looking out because he's like dreaming and thinking and that's what my next quote is about now notice i want him in the picture so i'm going to pull it to the left this time and then i'm going to push him over just a little bit and make sure my top is covered you don't want to click out of the picture as long as you're moving it 
And once you're done placing it where you want it, then click out of it. And that pretty much sets it. See, now I can't really move it unless I delete it and bring it back in. I'm going to put another quote in and type that. My typing is so fast, isn't it? All right. And so here I have my quote. And again, you can move it around. Um, this one, I went ahead and made it bold because it was showing up so small. It was harder to read. So I went ahead and made it bold. Um, there you go. See the difference? So again, I encourage you to go in and play around with the font and edit this post to make it yours. All right, let's do just one more. And we're going to do the next one by bringing in some flowers. And I do want that butterfly in this one. This one's a, a faster quote. It's not so deep, not so big. And I'm going to go ahead and type it in over here to my text. And there you go. I made that one white instead of black so that it would show up and to change your color. See right here where it has an A? You click that box and then you have all these different colors. And if you put your branding colors in, it will pop up as well in that account. Um, it will do that. And then here where it says photo colors, I think this is kind of cool. It will pull in the colors from the photo. So if you want to use a font that matches better, um, you can use one of those as well. I, I like that feature. That wasn't always there. All right. And that is how you make your posts. Now, why am I showing you this? Because if you are posting on Instagram daily or two or three times a week, I know some people when they start out, they just want to grab their phone and they just want to post daily. And it might be fun at first, but when you start doing other things, it can kind of start getting, um, to be pressure. So go ahead and make all your posts at once. You can keep clicking down here at the bottom. You can add more pages and you can have like a whole set for the month of October or whatever month of November when you're ready to post it. And you want to go up here to where it says share. Now I'm going to share this little project with you so that you're going to have a link right here. I said, anyone can use the link. See how I chose that. Anyone with the link can take these and use them. All of them are commercial free. So you don't have to worry about any licenses. Then I'm going to copy the link and you will find it below. You have two links, one for the free trial for Canva. If you don't have a pro account or if you don't have an account, use it and see what's in there. Um, it's free for, I think two weeks. And then after that, you can hit this link and it brings it right into your account and you can come in and edit it and make it yours. You can get rid of everything I've done, use different font, whatever you want. Now, how do you schedule it? And um, we're not used to that in Canva. Most of us think of Canva as a creative place, right? Somewhere we can make flyers and posts and things like that. Well, let's go down here to the bottom where it says schedule and you're going to see a calendar pop up and you can schedule this post anywhere you want. So let's say I want to schedule it for um, Sat Friday the 4th. Today is the 1st. All right. And a certain time I can pick my time and then I can hit next. Now in there, when you hit next, now this, oh, this one here, you're going to select your channel wherever you want it to go. So you're going to collect, I have Pinterest. I usually post, I usually post mostly to Pinterest. That's my favorite place to post. Um, but we're talking about Instagram. So you want to pick your Instagram account. Um, Canva will ask you if you want to connect it and, and you'll be able to connect your account to this one. So once you click your channel, then you're going to pick a page. Now there's seven there. So you're going to pick which one that you want to connect. And let's say I'm just going to pick page one with the, the quote. All right. And that's done. I can make a little caption if I want to, and then I can either save the draft or I can go ahead and schedule. Okay. So since I didn't, I had, let me just pick something there. Okay. And then it pops up and says schedule. I think my Instagram is down here. Yes, it is right there. Okay. And then I can go ahead and click schedule and that's it. Um, you can schedule it in and then everything is ready and set to go. Now you might say, well, how do I go back and edit? You can go back to the home page. I've done a video about this, but I want to show you real quick since you're in here. I hate to make you go watch another video, but if you go back to the home page, you'll see on the left hand side, it's going to say content planner and you're going to click right here at content planner and then you'll see your whole schedule where you've scheduled everything and then you can go in and delete it or you can edit it or you can move it to another um, different social media platform and that's it that's that easy what i encourage you to do is hit the link with the 
the job that I just showed you, the, the whole project, and just play around with it. I know sometimes when you go into these new platforms, it, you, one, don't know everything that it does. And then sometimes when you have to figure it out, it just takes more time. So I was hoping to simplify that for you. So you can just go and use those templates. You're free to share them with other people, do whatever you want with them. Like I said, they're free. Um, there's no license attached to them. I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you on the next one. You have a blessed day and don't forget to subscribe, make a comment below. And let me know what you think.